Good morning everyone, hi, uh, I'm here in the games room here at our, um, our lodge up at Windfell Centre Parks, um, up here for my brother-in-law's 18th, so uh, what I thought I'd do just before you head out for your Saturday game and hopefully something you can do over the weekend is just share with you um, a little quick tip on posture, how your posture could really promote um, more positive playing over your weekend. So I'm just going to compromise a little bit here since I haven't got my clothes, so I've got a pool cue. So all I'm looking at here is a very quick, simple tip just to get you thinking about your posture. How posture can affect your setup position and how it can then have an effect throughout your game or throughout your swing. So if I was in a setup position here, got my pool cue, I'm looking for a nice neutral spine angle, bend from the hips into a position where my hands can be in a nice relaxed position there from the shoulders. If I get into a situation where I'm a little bit too tall, so I haven't got quite enough bend at the hips here. My hands and arms become independent, get away from me right from the start, and all of a sudden I've got more of a, more of a chance of these hands, these arms working independently through my back slip. It's a lot harder to create efficient shoulder rotation. Secondly also, if I've got too much of an angle at the hip, too much bend at the hip, hands are too low, too close to the body, again, don't allow that efficiency in movement. Either or of those two, too much or too less, it's always going to cause a change into that spine angle, either through backswing or through into downswing, and it's not going to promote maintenance of that posture throughout the golf swing. Not going to allow the club to move around the body as efficiently as it could do. So, just very quick tip, great posture that you're looking for. Nice neutral bend at the hips, a nice bend at the hips, nice neutral spine angle, hands in a nice relaxed position from the shoulders, about a fist and a half distance space between the club and your body, top of the club and your body, and you're in a situation there, shoulders can turn nice and efficiently around the spine into backswing, through into the downswing, can be led by body rotation, and there can be nice, um, nice amount of maintained posture through that downswing, maintained spine angle through the downswing to allow that rotation to happen. Hope this helps, enjoy your weekend, hope your golf goes good. Uh, I'm gonna head out for a bit of breakfast now, and I'll uh, look forward to catching up with you soon. Cheers guys, have a good weekend, bye.